guys. So today we are going to be working on the star stitch bottle holder. And what you will need for this pattern is some sugar and cream, size four cotton yarn. You can use any other brand of cotton yarn as long as it's a size four. And I am using color Jade Mist today. Crochet eye hook, 5.5 millimeters. Some scissors and a yarn needle. To start off, we're going to make our slip knot and attach our hook to our yarn. And we're going to chain two. Now we're going to place six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. One. Two. Three. Four. Now to close our circle, we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet of our round. Get through those two loops, yarn over, pull all the way through. So we have our starting circle round. We're going to chain one. And we're going to place two single crochets in the same stitch that we just joined to and then into each stitch around we'll also place two single crochets which will make uh, 12 stitches in this row so in this first stitch i'm going to place two single crochets and then we're going to do that in each stitch around All right, so once we have 12 stitches, we're gonna join again with a slip stitch to that first single crochet of our round. And we're gonna chain one. We're gonna single crochet in that same stitch. And then place two single crochets in the next stitch. So we're going to continue that pattern around with one single crochet in one stitch and two in the next. One and then two. So at the end of this round you should have 18 stitches. And we're going to join again to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. Round three is complete and we will chain one. We're going to single crochet in the same stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. And then two single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to continue that pattern around. So one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one, one, two, and we're going to repeat that around. One single crochet, one single crochet, and two in the next.
All right, so you should have 24 stitches in this round. And we will join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. And that completes round four. To start round five, we're gonna chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. So now we're gonna have three single crochets in a row for those first three stitches. And then we're gonna put two single crochet in the next. All right, so we're gonna do that again. In the next three stitches, we'll put one single crochet in each and then two in the next, and we'll repeat that around. One, two, three, and then two in the next. All right, so as you finish up this round, you should have 30 stitches in your round, and we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet. And that will finish up round five. To start out round six, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the same stitch and in each of the next three stitches. And then two single crochets in the next. And we're going to repeat that pattern around. So for in the next four stitches, we'll put one single crochet, one, two, three, four. And in the next, we'll put two single crochet. And we'll repeat that around. So at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. And we're going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. All right, so this is the end of our base for our water bottle holder. And the next round we'll begin to work up the sides. So what you're gonna wanna do now is just kind of see how big the base of your water bottle holder is. So mine at this point is about three and a half, depending on inches, depending on exactly where I measure it and um, depending on your personal tension yours might be larger or smaller my gauge tends to be tighter so on the smaller side so yours might be a bit bigger so really you just want to decide whether you like this width for your water bottle holder this will be um, kind of a loose fit at this width for me for the smaller just like um, water bottles you buy at the store, the plastic ones. Um, but if you have um, an actual washable, reusable water bottle holder that's a little bigger, it will be a little more snug. Um, so if you have a particular water bottle that you're designing this for, you might just want to take it out, see how it compares. Now, if your water bottle holder is a little bit wider than this, that'll be okay because this will stretch a little bit. Um, but if the size difference is really big and um, you're afraid it won't fit, you might want to start over with a different hook size. If you want this to be smaller, you would want to use a smaller hook. If you would like this to be larger, you will use a larger hook. Um, so if this is something you'd like to change, this is the point to do that and go ahead and start over with a different size hook and then come back to this point and keep going. Okay, so round seven we will begin to work up the sides of our bottle carrier. So we're gonna start with a chain one, and then we're going to half double crochet in the back loop of each stitch. Now this will kind of allow our work to start working up the side. And so the back loop, if you look at your stitches, there should be a V shape with the two loops on the top of your row and the back is just that back loop that is further away from you. So in that first one, I'm gonna find that back loop, insert your hook, 
turn over and pull through, turn over and pull through all three. So we're going to continue this around for each stitch. So to do the half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into only that back loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Again in the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all loop, three loops on your hook. So we're going to do that in each stitch around for a total of 36 half double crochets for the row. Alright, to start round 8, this is where we begin our star stitches. And you're going to want to pay attention to your tension um, because it's really easy to do the star stitches a little tight and that will start to bring our work inward and we want to keep it straight. So we're going to focus on kind of keeping our tension a little loose for these stitches. So to start out, we're going to chain three. And your first step is going to be to insert your hook into that second chain from the loop, the middle one, and yarn over and pull through just the one chain. Now we're going to go down to the next chain, just below it, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, just the one. Now we're going to go down to the, ch the stitch that we chained out of, we're going to insert our hook again, yarn over, pull through. So at this point we have one, two, three, four loops on our hook. We're going to go to the next stitch, insert our hook yarn over and pull through. One more time, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six of those loops. And then to close off the stitch, you're going to yarn over one last time and pull through the loop that's on your hook. And that is your first star stitch of your row. Now the next star stitch is going to be a little different because we will be stitching into the side of the first star stitch instead of into our starting chain. But other than that it will be really similar. So you're going to insert first your hook into the eye of your star stitch. So that loop you just made with that last yarn over and pull through, that's the eye, and you're going to stick your hook in there, yarn over and pull through. Next you're going to put your hook through the side of the star stitch, just below the eye. There's two loops there you want to go through. Yarn over, pull through. Now you're going to put your hook through the stitch that the last star stitch ended in. Yarn over, pull through. Right now we have one, two, three, four loops on our hook. Now we're going to insert our hook in the next stitch on the row. Yarn over and pull through. And again in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on your hook. Just like last time, you're going to yarn over, pull through each of those loops, and then to tie it off, yarn over and pull through. That is our second star stitch, and that is how we're going to complete the rest of the star stitches for the row. So you're going to complete 16 more of these which will be a total of 18 for the row. So let me walk you through that again. So you're going to insert your hook into the eye of the star stitch, yarn over and pull through, 
insert your hook through the side of the star stitch, yarn over and pull through, insert your hook into the stitch that that last stitch was ending in, yarn over and pull through, insert your hook into the next stitch of the row, yarn over and pull through, and insert your hook into the next stitch of the row, yarn over and pull through. You should have six loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and pull through all six. Yarn over and pull through. One more time. Insert your hook into the eye of the star stitch. Yarn over and pull through to the side of the star stitch. I don't want to grab too many. There we go. Yarn over and pull through into the stitch the star stitch comes out of, into the next stitch, into the next stitch, and then pull through all six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Remember to work on your tension to make sure it's not too tight. Go all the way around. Till we get to the end of the row. All right, now when you get around to the end of the round, you'll notice that the two loops that are left include the join stitch from our last round. Now normally you don't use that to stitch into, but because we don't want there to be a gap and a visible line, we're going to just use that like a stitch to keep it close together. So you're going to do that final star stitch just as you did the rest into the eye, into the side, into the stitch the stitch comes out of, into the next stitch, and then also into the join stitch from the last round. Yarn over and pull through all six. And now before you tie off this last star stitch, you're going to insert your hook into that chain three from the previous stitch, um, from the beginning of the round. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through that and that, and that will give you a less visible join than otherwise. So that's how we're going to join the end of the round. Now to start the next round, it's going to be a little bit different because instead of stitching into um, half double crochets, we're going to be stitching into our previous row of star stitches. So we'll start off the same, we're going to chain three, insert your hook into the second or middle chain, yarn over and pull through. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. Then you're going to insert your hook into the uh, top of that chain three that you joined into, yarn over and pull through. You should have four loops on your hook. Now the next part, which is a different part, is that you can see this first star stitch from our previous row. We're going to insert our hook into the top yarn over and pull through loop that was created. So the top of that star stitch, there's two loops there, yarn over and pull through. And the final yarn over, and insert and yarn over, will be into the eye of the previous star stitch. Yarn over and pull through. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on your hook. Keep it loose, yarn over, pull through all six. Yarn over and pull through to close it off. Now, just like in the previous row, to start off, we're going to insert our hook into the eye of our previous star stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Insert our hook through the side of our star stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Now, the part that's a little different is you're going to again insert into that eye of the previous star stitch, yarn over and pull through, 
Then we're going to insert through the top of the next star stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then the next eye of the star stitch. You should have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six, yarn over and pull through. Do that again. Insert your hook into the eye of the star stitch to the side of the star stitch, into the eye at the bottom of the star stitch, the top of the next star stitch, and the next eye. Yarn over and pull through all six loops, yarn over and pull through. You're going to do this all the way around again for a total of 18 star stitches and I'll show you how to finish off again at the end. Now as you come to the end of the row and we're going to be about ready to do our last star stitch, we're going to insert our hook into the eye of our star stitch, into the side, into the eye that our stitch is coming out of, and then into the top of the last star stitch of the last row. And then you can see that we used the eye of our last star stitch to join rows. And so we're gonna stitch into that for our final pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through. And then before we finish off this round, this with our yarn over and pull through, we're going to insert our hook into that chain three, and then do our yarn over and pull through. And that will give us our join. So we're going to continue with the exact same pattern we used for that last row until we have a total of 21 rounds, which, let me see, so that will be 14 rounds of actual star stitch rows. So once you have done 14 rounds of the star stitch, then um, meet back here and I will show you how to finish off the top and do the straps. All right, so once you have finished your 14 rows of star stitches, we're going to just finish off with a couple rows of single crochet. So you're going to start off by chaining one, and then we're going to place two single crochets in each star stitch. So you'll place one single crochet in the top of the star stitch and one single crochet in the eye of the star stitch. And we'll repeat this around in the top, in the eye, in the top, in the eye. So start off with a single crochet in the top of the star stitch and then the eye of the star stitch. The top of the star stitch the eye of the star stitch. And we're going to do this all the way around for a total of 36 stitches and this will include the join stitch which is part of our last star stitch. All right, once you have 36 stitches, including a stitch in your join, we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet of the row. We're gonna chain one single crochet in that same stitch that you just chained out of. And then put one single crochet in each stitch around again, but this time we will not stitch in our join stitch just aiming for another 36 stitches to work a band along the top here. So one single crochet in each stitch around. And when you get to the end of your row and your 36 stitches, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet. We're going to do one more row of single crochet. We're going to add in a few single crochet two together, just because you can kind of see since star stitches tend to be a little tighter, we're kind of widening at the top here, so we're going to try to cinch it shut a little bit. So we're going to chain one, 
single crochet in the same stitch we chained out of. Then we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches and then single crochet two together. So first the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now we're going to single crochet two together. So insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, but don't finish off. Instead, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, now we're going to single crochet in the next 10 stitches and then single crochet two together. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we'll single crochet two together, insert your hook yarn over and pull through a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. We're going to single crochet again in the next 10 stitches. And then our last two stitches, we will single crochet two together again. And then we will join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. All right, and that is the completion of the body. So we can finish off and weave in our ends. be easier to weave in the ends on the bottom if you turn it inside out and you can use the tail and weaving in on the bottom to tighten up if you have a little bit of a gap in the hole in the bottom if you kind of go in and out around that hole with your yarn you can pull it tight if it's not as tight as you would like it to be. Okay, so now once you have your ends woven in, we're going to get started on our straps. Now, first you want to leave a nice long tail on your strap so that you can uh, use the tail to sew it onto the body of your carrier. So once you've saved a tail over there, then you're going to create your slip knot. You're going to start with a chain uh, that will be the length of what you want your strap to be. Now I'm not going to go super long today just for showing you the length, um, just how to do it. Um, but on the original pattern, I made it quite long. I made mine a chain of 151 because I wanted 
stretch to be able to wear it across the body over the shoulder, which made it need to be pretty long. So you can measure out how long you want your strap to be. Remember that it will stretch a little bit um, since it is stitches. Um, but the reason we're doing it lengthwise is so hopefully there will be a little less stretching than if we did it um, side to side all the way up the strap. So for today, I'm just going to stitch 20 just to show you how to do it. So we're gonna chain 20. All right, so once you have your chain, as long as you would like your strap to be, you're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. We're gonna half double crochet in each of our stitches across. So the final number will be one less than your chain. So if I chained 40, I should have a stitch count of 39 at the end. Okay, so once you get to the end of your row and you have one half double crochet in each chain, you are going to chain one, turn, you're going to half double crochet in the same stitch and then put one half double crochet in each stitch across. Now when you get to the end of this row, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna turn, or chain one, turn, and place one half double crochet across again. And you're gonna keep doing this until you have a total of four rows, or if you want to make it even wider, or narrow or you can do a different number of rows depending on how wide you want your strap to be but this is going to be the length and this will be the width of your strap so you kind of make it according to your own preference but I will meet you back here once you have full length that you desire okay so once you have finished your strap we're ready to do the last step which is to sew it on to the body of the carrier. So it might be easiest if you turn your carrier inside out um, because what you're going to do is you're going to take your strap and line it up on the inside since mine is in already inside out. If you're doing it with the right side out you'll place it this way within so that you don't see where it's sewn on. About an inch should do it and we're going to take our long tail that we left and just use the tail to sew the strap on. Now you shouldn't see the yarn when you're done because it is the same color so it camouflages really well. So you're just going to want to So around the edges, every centimeter or so. If you want, you can turn it over and double check that you can't see your stitches. You just kind of go in and out until you feel like it is secure. Give it a tug, make sure it feels good. Once you're satisfied, bring it back over to the back of your project. Tie it 
tie a knot to secure it. And then we can leave in that end. And we're going to want to line up the other side. You can count stitches across if you want to be exact, or you can kind of eyeball it. But you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And there you have your Star Stitch water bottle holder ready for a bottle. Hope you enjoyed this pattern. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more crochet.